Local community radio is coming to cities and towns across the country. Maybe. This January, the Local Community Radio Act was signed into a law, which means that thousands of communities will have their first chance at community radio. The new law expands low-power FM radio, also known as LPFM, to cities and towns across the United States. LPFMs are small, non-commercial radio stations that are locally run, but there's a couple of loose ends we need to tie up at the FCC before people just like you get their hands on the radio. Right now, the FCC is trying to figure out how to deal with thousands of translator applications that have been pending for years. Translators are small stations, under 250 watts, that repeat what's on another station. Translators were originally intended to allow full power stations to reach more people in their area. For example, a station in a mountainous area might require a translator to reach listeners whose reception is blocked by the landscape. Space for radio stations is limited. In 2003, the FCC let people apply for translators and over 12,000 applications were filed. Many were from just a few applicants who were looking either to sell the translators or to create large national networks that blanket the country and repeat the same content from a single station. These translator applications threaten to use up all the space available for low-power FM stations, especially in cities where the FM dial is already crowded. Thanks to a public outcry and a petition filed by Prometheus, the FCC froze the process to save spaces for community radio. Over 6,000 translator applications are waiting to be processed today. If the FCC let them all through, most big cities and small towns would lose their chance at community radio forever. But the future might not be so bleak. The Local Community Radio Act requires the FCC to make sure that low-power radio makes its way into communities all over the country. The law requires the FCC to license new stations based on the needs of local communities. To do it, the FCC needs to figure out a set of rules that balance between translators and opportunities for new low-power stations. The FCC took a close look at the top 150 radio markets and proposed a minimum amount of LPFM stations based on the size of the market. If there is not enough room, the FCC will dismiss all of the translator applications in that city. This is called the LPFM floor. Let's look at Atlanta. In that city, the FCC determined that there is potentially room for four low-power stations. They drew a 30 by 30 grid over the center of every market and looked for where there might be enough spaces for a low-power FM station. This revealed potential LPFM channels. Four channels are available, but the FCC set their floor at eight. Now, that does not mean that there's going to be room for eight stations, but it does mean that four stations is less than what the FCC would like to see in that size market. If the floor is not met, then those pending translator applications are dismissed. Goodbye. But we need to make sure that the floors for low-power radio are high enough for all of our voices to be heard. In fact, the FCC is asking the public to comment on the plan, and we have 30 days to let them know why cities and towns across the country would benefit from getting a low-power FM radio station. What would your community do with a radio station? Maybe you would broadcast high school football games. Or play hard-to-find music by local artists. Maybe your station would be the first to respond in the case of an emergency. Hey, maybe you'd even become a reporter and investigate local stories. Sign the petition or write your own letter and let the FCC and your elected official know why our cities need our airwaves.